Recently, I interviewed for SD2 roles at some of the top tech companies like Google, Amazon, DoorDash, Databricks, Stripe, Uber, Rippling, and many more. Got couple of offers, got rejection from others, and learned a lot along the way. In this video series, I am going to walk you through my journey, what went well, what went wrong, and costed me the offer, my preparation strategy, my compensation insights, and a lot more. If you're preparing for SD2 role and are just trying to understand how these company hire, you are at the right place. Let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. First of all, thank you for 1000 subscriber and we are close to 2000 subscriber also. So thanks for supporting. So yeah, before moving forward to the video, if you're new to the channel, do subscribe because a lot more interesting videos are coming up. I've already put down three, four interview experiences. If you haven't checked it out, do check it out. So in this video, I will be discussing about my ST2 interview experience at Databricks. So before moving forward to the interview experience, let me tell you what Databricks as a company is. It is a data and AI company which provide a unified analytics platform to the company so that they can manage their big data, data pipelines all in a lake house architecture. And it was founded by the creator of Apache Spark, which is most widely used as a data processing framework. So let's talk about how I got the opportunity. So recently Databricks opened their office in Bangalore also, and they were hiring a lot for the R&D framework mainly. So I saw multiple of the job openings through a LinkedIn, like mostly the recruiters are very active of Databricks and they keep posting on LinkedIn itself. So let's talk about how I got the call. Recently Databricks opened their office in Bangalore and uh, they were hiring a lot across the R&D framework. And I saw multiple job openings posted by the recruiter in LinkedIn itself. And through that link, I applied directly on portal and within a few week or maybe a one week recruiter reached out to me and we discussed about my experiences, how can be aligned with the job profile and all. And the job profile that was active at that point was a full stack engineer and applied on that. So once I got shortlisted, I was invited for a small call where we discussed about the JD and how the process will look like further. Recruiter informed me that there will be a one elimination round that will be hiring manager round itself. Once we qualify, once you will qualify the hiring manager round, you will go to interview loop in that the first round will be data structure algorithm slash coding round. Second round will be pair programming, which will be based on your full stack. Third round was system design round and fourth round was similar to hiring manager round. So let's talk about interview process in detail. So the first round was hiring manager round and the interviewer was itself a hiring manager. And it was similar to any other hiring manager round. They talked about generally what was my experience and within my experience, they shortlisted one of the project and told me to describe it, it in, in depth. And once I described it in, in depth, uh, he actually asked some of the follow up questions how I deal with the stakeholders, what was my contribution, what was my impact, how we roll out, what was the achievement and all this thing. Once it was done, um, we had a couple of more discussion about the team, about the office that was going to open in Bangalore. So I was one of the first hire that was going to be in that team at that point of time. So it was a kind of a new experience for hiring manager also and for me also. So the round was only about 45 minutes. So we didn't go in a deep of around my projects also. It was just a high level overview of what I was doing currently. Am I capable of the full stack developer or not? It was very chill round if I can say, and I was shortlisted. And soon within uh, two, three hours, I got a call from HR that I'm shortlisted and I'm going to interview loop. So in the interview loop, first round was data structure algorithm round. Before the round itself, recruiter informed me some of the key pointers that they are going to measure in this round. And the pointers were first, uh, question will be very blurry so you have to ask the clarifying question and based on that also they will check whether you are able to debug the code or not that they are going to check whether you are able to explain your thought process loudly or not that they are going to check so these were the few pointers and the other point where were you able to break down the problem itself or not as this round was only 45 minutes and it it was in the late night so the interviewer was from the USA. So the question was related to a maze problem in which you have to travel from in a matrix from top to the bottom at the corner and there will be some obstacles in between. So this was easily solved through backtracking. But the main challenge was while writing the code, interviewer stopped me in between and asked me to run the code itself. So it was little shocking to me that before completing the code, how can you actually ask a candidate to run? But they were checking whether I'm able to complete the basic edge cases or not. So I was easily able to come up with the solution and all because I already done the problem and this is the problem mainly which was asked. Somewhat the language was little different but moreover the question was same. Once I cleared this round I was asked for a pay programming round and in this round also there were some key pointers that they were going to judge. It was already informed that it will be a full stack coding problem 
and what they were looking for are the these pointers first is your pure implementation skills matter a lot in this round second is your learning of the full stack knowledge how much knowledge do you have in the react js next js in golang and for the front end side they were focusing on component structure state management event handlers ui rendering form validation and for the back end they were focusing on routing connecting front end via api request handling logic and using the proper data structure are you able to come up with a better http methods or not or glue architecture and yeah surely the clean code architecture and, and the logic was correct or not so the question that was asked to me was to build a mini dashboard in which i have given a api that i need to call to fetch the metric which is kind of a real time and i need to display it in a dashboard itself which will be powered by a front end maybe react or maybe next js so that was the problem statement overall so i find a little difficulty in this round majorly due to the front end side because i was not so much clear on react js implementation because from the last two years i was majorly focusing on the back end side and i was working as a back end engineer itself while i was a full stack engineer also so somewhat i can feel that interview was not aligned with my thought process and the components that i was using in react but yeah as it as it was interview loop so i was not told about my feedback at the itself so i was moved to the next round which was system design round this was typically the same system design round which we generally also in other companies and the question that was given to me was similar to design a ad click aggregator service which is similar to um whenever a user clicks on an ad it get redirected to some website so there will be uh, some analytics similar to a dashboard will be provided to the analytics so third round was system design round and this was typically similar to any other system design round of any other company and the question that was given to me was similar to design ad click aggregator service in which user will click a ad and it will redirect it to a some of the website and that metric we need to populate for the advertiser in some kind of browser or maybe dash and yeah the basic pattern that i followed while giving the solution for system design was i classified the problem in a functional requirement non functional requirement then the capacity estimation was done and uh, in this scenario there is only one or two api so i gave that api entities and designing and then we discussed about the basic architecture of the problem then we discussed how we can enhance the design so it will be an optimal design itself and deep dive so first solution will be you can directly store and query from the same db in which the read and write will be happening but this will not be scalable as per the problem statement and the second solution was to break down the db in a read db and write db with the batch processing if i go more detail into it we can use the cassandra with a spark uh, with a cron job itself so for the write operation we can store it in cassandra and process it by spark using cron job and for the reading purpose we can use any olap db but as it was a batch processing so real time data will not be populated to advertisers so this was a limitation in this solution so the final solution that is possible and the best solution in this scenario is to is to give the real time analytics with the stream processing and for this we can use kinesis flink and olap db for the service this is more of a high level i talked about the solution of it but if you want a detailed video about this system design itself uh, please let me know in the comments now let's talk about the final round which is a behavioral round and uh, as i earlier told that it was similar to the hiring manager round itself so i was told to explain one of my most important project most impactful project in my previous company and talk about the design choices talk about my individual contribution talk about how much i collaborated with other stakeholders what was the impact what was the achievement its rollout strategy what was the scale that it was handling and what was the limitation we encountered and what was the difficulty we faced and how we resolved it and there were some of the questions regarding uh, similar behavioral like explain a scenario where you will have a conflict with your manager and how will you resolve it explain a scenario where your project is getting out of deadline so how will you resolve it so i answered them using this star method so once all the round was completed recruiter reached out to me and informed that Uh, due to one round which was paid programming round uh, which was kind of a soft no kind of scenario so they will not be able to move forward but i was happy that i was able to come up with like six round itself and i was able to qualify mostly it let's talk about the compensation that databricks provide for st2 
so overall compensation that databricks provide is around 80 lakhs to 1 crore and the base salary ranges from around 45 to 50 lakh while the stock range from around 40 lakh to 50 lakh per annum itself and generally their performance bonus is around 5 to 7 lakh so it's a huge as compared to any other company in india it's a huge for sd to itself and the range was around experience range was around 2 to 4 and let's talk about the resource and strategy that you can actually leverage to clear all the rounds of databricks so for the ds around they don't focus much on hard problems as the time limitation is 45 minute they generally focus on your thought process and clarity of the question so you can practice most of the lead code medium part including the backtracking majorly they focus on dpn graph so you can focus on that that also i did i solved around 150 questions around that and that was enough what generally i do in lead code is i try to find out the pattern recognition in dp and graph in backtracking and recursion anywhere because ts is all about finding the patterns there will not be a new solution that cannot be solved through these patterns it will be a just little twist so try to focus on finding the patterns between the problems instead of thinking it is a new new problem itself talking about the system design interview i have already told in a previous interview experience also i completed i have generally completed the system design primer github repo uh, and after that i completed the alexo system design part 1 also it was very interesting book once i completed that i also went through some of the blogs that was uh, written by hello interview that was a very interesting blogs and Uh, one of the question that was provided in hello interview that is design ad click aggregator uh, came into this round so it was really helpful to me and yeah uh, generally what i do um, i find i list out the question from lead code discuss section and i try to solve it by myself within a time frame and if i don't able to find out the solution i generally try to search in youtube the top most video or maybe any blog uh, blog articles and once i read it I, then i again try to solve it by myself so this is the best way because if you will be able to rely on any youtube video that will be restricting your mentality or thought process to think in that direction only so try to uh, so try to always solve a problem on your end once you read any blog once you watch any youtube video also that will actually refresh your mind to think in a more holistic manner talking about the peer programming round preparation so this round majorly focus on both front end and back end so you will be and so you should be very strong and talking about hiring manager round so hiring manager round we majorly focus on any uh, impactful project that you created in your previous company so you should have at least one impactful project to show to hiring manager and explain it in depth because there will be many follow up question in that itself apart from that they generally ask behavioral question that you can answer through star method which is uh mainly popular due to amazon principles and i will link that in my description also so yeah i think that's it for this video if you think this video was helpful for you do like share subscribe to the channel i have seen like 90% of you are not subscribing to the channel please go subscribe and yeah do let me know in comments if you want me to make video on any other topic and yeah tell that see you in another interview experience and tech more videos scott here signing off